All right, guys, thanks a lot for sending all your videos. Uh, there's a lot to choose from, so I made a quick selection, and hopefully I can give you some of the right tips you need to land your tricks next time you get back on the water. So first of all, before I start, uh, remember that I will not answer questions like how to do a jump, how to do a back roll, because we have the Duotone Kiteboarding Academy. It's a free app you can download on your phone. All the kite tricks you can think of are already explained on this app. This is the first episode of Couch Coaching, and hopefully it will help you to land your next trick. So I have a few people that submitted their videos on my Instagram account at Jeremy Tronet and uh, a few on the Duotone Academy app. On the Duotone Academy app, you can, uh, if you have a video of your trick, upload your video in the chat section of a trick and pro riders of the team will come and answer you and give you tips on how to land it perfectly. Uh, I will get started with at Damian Kitesurf on Instagram. Uh, he sent me a video of his uh, Blind Judge 3, his Blind Judge 3 attempt. And let's see his video and see what he needs to do to land it. Okay, that's a nice Blind Judge. All right, he's got the Blind Judge dialed in. And this is a mistake most people do, uh, how to land a Blind Judge 3. To get a blind judge 3, it's uh, putting the second hand on the bar and landing hillside. Uh, so the best tip I can give you, I'm going to stand up and, and show you on the bar because it's, it's a little bit easier. The two best tips I can give you, Damien, is the first one is to rotate faster in your blind judge. To rotate faster on your blind judge, bend your knees. The smaller you are in the air, the faster you will be able to rotate. And the second part, I think it's one of the easiest tip. I can give you is to think about putting your second hand on the bar because usually that's a mistake on a blind judge you will land with one hand on the bar if you think about you do your blind judge so you're coming like this you do your blind judge you pass the bar and if you think about coming to grab the bar with your second hand it will help you finish your rotation people are trying a blind judge and landing only blind judge and not blind judge three uh, it's because as soon as they pass the bar, they think the trick is finished. But try to think about coming with your second hand on the bar, bend your knees, and it will help you finish your rotation and land a blind judge three. Okay, now we have Joshua Rowe. Uh, he submitted his video on the Duotone Academy app, so let's go check it out. Check in the hook section, and I think, and I think he was uploading it to the back roll section. I will go to the lesson chat. Let's check out the video of his uh, back roll attempt on the Duotone Academy app. So he's riding uh, on the left tack, going for a back roll, and wow, the kite is going to the wrong side. So this is one of the most uh, basic mistakes everybody do at the beginning when they do a back roll, they pull on the wrong side of the bar. So one of the tips that I give people, it's very easy. Stand up and check this out. So you're riding like this doing your back roll and you want to make sure you are sending with the left hand okay so the kite lands back on the left side and doesn't go on the right side like it's showing on the video so to do this is think about having your left elbow tucked against your chest like this you have a physical feedback of what you're doing against your body you can feel what you're doing it's not abstract not knowing right to left so as soon as you go on your back roll so you're riding like this, as soon as you start your rotation, pull the bar to generate some power. Try to remember about one thing, tucking your left elbow against your chest and you're gonna feel it. And if you do that, it's gonna automatically send the kite back towards the left side. Another tip would be, you could also make sure your right hand is very close to the middle of the bar and your left hand is a little bit more on the outside like this. Like this, you will have more leverage effect on your left hand and the kite will tend to land to the left. So this Joshua, that's how you land your back roll uh, properly with the kite on the right side of the wind window. Rona Sivaeva sent us a video of an inverted front roll and she wants to know how to do it better. Okay, let's check out the video. She's cruising along. Okay, she is going on the front roll. Okay, it's a very nice front roll, very stylish. So the trick is here already and she's landing it, but she's not inverted. For an inverted front roll, it's always better to send your board first as you go up because the board's gonna be up above your head almost. It's gonna help you to be inverted by tilting your head back. One of my advice will be to also let go the backhand to grab the tail of the board, but you don't have to do it right away. If you want to do a better inverted front roll, start your jump and as you leave the water in your front roll, send your board and your right knee up so the board is above you. Tilt your head back, 
maybe grab the tail of the board and finish the rotation like this. It will help you get uh, an inverted front roll a little bit more inverted. Okay guys, uh, that's it for couch coaching for today. Uh, you can keep on sending your videos on my Instagram account or on the Duotone Academy app and I'll try my best to give you a few tips on how to land these tricks for the next time you're able to go on the water.